Hi students. Uh, now the career guidance part. Now there are students who are asking, okay, I got a some odd rank, a lot of zeros behind it. So I want to take Oftal. Okay, guys, please. Oftal is a great subject. Okay, it's a great subject. Now let's not use it as you know something like of exclusion. I didn't get anything, I'm taking Oftal. All right. And Whatever, whatever said and done, if you like Oftal or you do not like Oftal and you plan to take Oftal, let me tell you, you have to start liking the subject. Yes. And nobody comes. Maybe there are very few who come with knowledge of the subject who love the subject. There are very many, just like y'all, didn't get anything and then you chose Oftal. All right. So you have to learn to like it if you're taking Oftal, number one, whatever subject. And ma'am, will I be able to do surgery? Nobody comes into the world knowing any anything. You don't know anything when you come into the world. Now you and I are speaking. That means we have learned over the years. So we will learn everything over the years. All right. And uh, will I be taught? Nobody teaches you medicine. Medicine is self-taught. And ophthalmology is a branch of medicine with a good dose of surgery or a great dose of surgery. So medicine, surgery, they're all, you know, it's all part of medicine. So medicine, nobody teaches you. So that question is totally ruled out and definitely not at this stage. Okay, so nobody teaches you. So do not expect that. Yeah, if you have a good academics, good enough. Otherwise, you are expected to learn. So please do not go by this. There should be good academics. If there's no good academics, you make the good academics. All right. I don't know. I am like that. So my answers are going to be like that. And what about the surgical chances? Guys, surgical chances, you have to prove yourself to get surgery. They're not going to give you in a platter. All right. So first of all, you should know how to work up the patient. You need to know how to run an OPD. You need to know how to diagnose a patient. And then you need to know whether this patient needs surgery, does not need surgery, if at all surgery, why, what, when, how. If you know all this, then you're ready for surgery. So you should know pre-op evaluation of a patient, post-op management of the patient, and then you will be eventually given surgeries. Okay. So don't be running behind cuttings. Cuttings will be given to you based on your caliber, based on your interest. So now the number of cuttings should, I don't think that's the criteria because eventually you learn. Now without knowing ophthalmology and you know, you just want cuttings, I think that's a carpenter's job. Anybody can do it, not you, anybody. So I really don't think, again, that's again something. And there are people who are asking, uh, how much money do I earn? Guys, I really don't think that's a great question to ask. The, que the money that you earn depends whatever field you are in, whether you're a medico, non-medico, in medico, whatever field, the amount of money that you earn in is directly proportional to the amount of hard work that you're going to put in. Yes, the amount of sincerity that you work with. Yes, and ultimately your patients decide it. You don't decide it because if you're good, patients are going to come to you, you'll earn. If you're not good, Patients are not going to come to you and your earning potential potential maybe is just stagnant. Okay. So let that not be a guiding point. And ma'am, about the fellowship. Guys, concentrate on the three years of your ophthalmology. Fellowship will come to you. You can go towards fellowship after that. First, learn ophthalmology and then the fellowship. Okay. So it's just like now I always give you analogs. Now it's like if you're going to ask me, ma'am, what is my chance of what is that? Fellowship. Is there, is it saturated? You want to ask such questions. Now, yes, the world is populated by billions. So does that mean we do not reproduce? No, we do. And what about your children? And are you worried? My children is my children are going to die one day. So I will never have children. No, we do it. We all do it. And all in the hope that everything is going to be fine. So please do not ask negative questions. Yes, reality speak. Because I did give you a view of reality the other day, but then People started taking it negatively. Ma'am, don't we have any scope? You have great scope in ophthalmology. But first, start loving the subject, start learning the subject, understand the concepts. Then things will automatically come to you. All right. Automatically, you'll you'll go towards it and it'll come to you. So there's no point asking what is the money there? How much is the money there? What is the academics? What is the cutting? Eventually you'll get cutting. Okay. And is it the same in all government colleges? Now, according to me, I think all government colleges are in the same boat. 
There's nothing great about anything. There's nothing less about anything. It depends upon how you are taking up your residency or how you are managing your daily life there. So if you are good, you will see more patients. Even if you see one patient, I tell you, even if you see one patient a day and you go back and read about that patient, I think that's a great deal. And if I see 200 patients a day and I don't read anything, okay, maybe I learn by well, learn with experience. So that's a different that's a different scenario. Now, if I have 10 patients a day and I'm still reading about one patient or two patients that I'm seeing every day, even one finding, if I know why that finding is there, and I know how to take a good history, I know to do a good slit lamp examination. I think that is a great deal. So you will not become a surgeon in a day. Practice makes a man perfect. So it takes years for becoming a good surgeon. All right. So do not think, please do not think it comes in a platter because I'm yet to answer so many of your questions, so many of your messages. Please do not think I've become arrogant. No, I've not become arrogant. I've just lost count of time and it's quite tiring. And my phone is not that great. It's memory is very, very, very low. The memory is very, very low. So it's working at a dead slow speed, a talk, tortoise speed. So I'm really not able to manage. And DNB or MS, guys, DNB and MS have the same value these days. Okay, nobody underestimates a DNB. And the same kind of exposure you get in MS and DNB. And when you go in a good hospital, okay, when you go in a good hospital, of course, DNB people, you have a good advantage, you have a good exposure. So don't go by the cutting. Cutting, even in your government colleges, you don't get that much cuttings as you might imagine. Okay, as you might imagine, because eye is very sensitive. It's not like others. You make a mistake, you can correct it. It's, it's so very delicate. So it, your consultants will be skeptical to give you surgeries at the start. So you have to prove yourself to earn yourself. Should be deserving to get the surgeries. Okay, so don't worry. Don't be negative. Don't be pessimistic. Be optimistic. You're all going to get your chances. You will learn. You learn over the years. So don't think three years I'm done and I'm like going to be a great surgeon. Maybe you can become a great surgeon. Maybe some people learn just with one surgery. It's okay. So be positive. Take ophthalmology. Now don't worry. Ma'am, I got 8,000. I'll get what college? Go back to the ranks. Go back to the previous ranks. You'll have an idea. Now I really don't have... I'm not a fortune teller to tell you. Okay, I've got ma'am 23,801 rank. Which college I will get? I have no idea. Now if you want an idea of certain colleges, please send me a list of the colleges that you have in mind. I can help you sort them out. But I, I think it's not practical or it's not even, you know, uh, decent of you to ask me something like, ma'am, give me a list of colleges. Hey, there are hundreds of colleges, yeah, thousands of colleges in India. What would I give you? All right. So it's kind of practically impossible. If you want a list, give me a list. Go through your previous rank list, last year's rank list. If you have a fair idea of for this rank, what could have been allotted. So give me a tentative list. I can help you sort out that. Okay. And yes, DNB. And don't, please don't take that DO. DO is not really record. I mean, it's not really accepted. And DOMS, DOMS is in certain states like I think Maharashtra, Gujarat, and also in some other northern Indian state. But you can't practice outside your state. That DOMS, okay? DOMS, it's not at all recognized by the MCI. It's some random institute which issues that. It's not at all recognized. And for fellowships, you will not be recognized at all. So right at the moment, don't worry about the fellowship. First, finish your ophthalmology. Take up ophthalmology. See if you can sustain in ophthalmology. Finish your ophthalmology. Then you can go for fellowship, right? So you see, when you get, let me again tell you, now you're getting married. You're not worried about your children's marriage, right? So that's a long way off. So first you enjoy your life. You have your honeymoon period. You enjoy your life. You settle down in life. And then you think of your child's future, which is well away, right? So be practical. I know you're being over practical. You're thinking about uh, fellowship. Good. But first of all, think about ophthalmology. You need to learn ophthalmology to know what you want to do, what you need to do. And then yeah, we're always there to guide you. OK, so again, I'm telling you, please. Ophthalmology is a great subject. It's got great scope. It's not saturated. No subject can be saturated. I'm telling you, no subject is saturated. If somebody is telling you ophthalmology is saturated, please do not take it. It's, it's not true. It's not saturated, maybe in certain areas. But if you're good, it's not saturated, OK? You always have a way for yourself, right? So it's like the desert. You always have a place for the desert. So if you're going to be really good, you always have a place for yourself. So be positive. You're going to be a good doctor. Be a good doctor. Be a good ophthalmologist. Then you can think of what specialist you want to be, OK? So anything, yes, you're more than welcome. But again, 
be practical when you ask me some questions. I think that will help you get an answer. It will help me give you a better answer and guide you better. All right. So let me see. Go back and answer your doubts which are pending. Okay. Bye. All the best. Take off the Become one of the mall. Just welcome buddies.